Hello, welcome back to Mass Effect. Uh, we were just about to go see the Admiral, or the Ambassador, I don't remember which one, but we need to go to the Ambassador's office, pretty much. So, let's go do that. Uh, I guess it'd be on the Presidium. Embassies, that'll do. So they were going to go ahead and set up getting Shepard a ship and all that stuff, so let's go see how that has progressed. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow I me to think it was up this way if I remember right, yeah. It's totally right. We still have some stuff to complete here at the Citadel before we leave anyway. Spoiler alert, we'll be leaving. Um. Okay. I thought this was the ambassador. We better check the journal here. Wrong stuff. The docking bay? Are you kidding me? Walked all the way here for nothing. That rapid transport thingamajiggy again. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your Was it down in the wards? It is down in the wards. I think it's that elevator right there. Is it this one here? It's an elevator. I'm relatively sure it's an elevator. Yeah, docking bay. Let's get on our way. Another hellaciously slow elevator the ride. The Gorians endangered the entire galaxy when they let the Geth break free. Preachy. I hope your people are properly contrite, Tally. As the Turians are properly contrite for releasing the genophage upon the Krogan. You're assuming that sterilizing them was a mistake. Awkward. Why would you bring that up in the elevator? Yep. There's not even any elevator music in this elevator. There we go. Wait. No? Maybe? I think we're there. We're there. Let's talk to him. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. Who? She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. I'll take good care of her, sir. I know you will, Commander. I want the truth. Why are you stepping down, sir? You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. Come clean with me, Captain. You owe me that much. I was in your shoes 20 years ago, Shepard. They were considering me for the Spectres. Why didn't you ever mention this? What was I supposed to say? I could have been a Spectre, but I blew it? I failed, Commander. It's not something I'm proud of. Ask me later and I'll tell you the whole story. For now, all you need to know is, I was sent on a mission with Saren, and he made sure the Council rejected me. You pretty much already mentioned all that. It came and went. Now you have a chance to make up for my mistakes. I won't let you down, sir. Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The Conduit. He's got his Geth scouring the Traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Ferro system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact, and there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Pharos and Novaria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. Anything else? We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording. She has a daughter, a scientist who specializes in the Protheans. Hmm. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau Cluster. 
Sounds like we should head for the Artemis Tau cluster. That's always where it's I your start. Decision, Commander. You're a specter now. You don't answer to us. But your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. I'll do whatever it takes to stop Saren. Not exactly the answer I was looking for, Shepard. Remember, you were a human long before you were a specter. I like that I have guy. a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. Um, I guess we yes, can ask him a question real quick. I don't really want to ask him about any of that stuff. We'll find out. I want to know the truth about you and Saren. I want to know about the mission you were on together all those years ago. We had intel on a rogue scientist being funded by Batarian interests. He was trying to set up a facility to develop illegal AI technology out in the Verge. Alliance Intel had done all the work, but the Council wanted a Spectre involved. We compromised. I was assigned to help Saren in his investigation. We tracked the scientist to a refining facility on Kamala. He was hidden away somewhere inside, protected by an army of Batarian mercenaries. The plan was simple. Sneak into the plant, capture the scientist, sneak back out. Quick, quiet, and a minimum of bloodshed. I'm guessing things didn't go as planned? Saren and I split up to cover more ground. Then about halfway through the mission, there was a massive explosion in the refinery core. Officially, it was ruled an accident, but I think Saren detonated it on purpose to draw off the enemy guards. Sounds like overkill to me. The explosion tore the refinery to shreds. The whole place was on fire. Black chemical clouds poured out into the atmosphere. Nobody inside survived. There was a camp for the workers and their families nearby. Between the fires and the toxic fumes, the final death count was over 500. Mostly civilians. Well, that Saren sucks. Here. The target was eliminated. Mission accomplished. And I ended up taking the blame. That ended all talk of me joining the Spectres. Saren caused the explosion. How'd he pin it on you? In his report, Saren accused me of blowing his cover. He said it was my fault the guards were ready for us. He claimed that's why it turned into a massacre. Saren's report was all the proof the Council needed to kill my chances of becoming a Spectre. Why'd you let him get away with it? Who do you think the Council was going to listen to? Me? Or their best agent? I had a bad feeling about him right from the start. I should have been more careful. Maybe I could have stopped things before they got out of hand. The only thing I care about is stopping Saren. You're right, Commander. It's no good living in the past. Well, we're done go. with that. I'll be here if you need me. You're just gonna like wait outside the ship? That's kind of weird. All right, let's check the journal real quick here. Not the codex, the journal. All right, those are all main mission stuff, but we still have some stuff we can complete here before we take off. So let's do that. Head on down, to back down to the wards, and take care of some of these quests. Turn in the thing for the reporter. Do you ever regret leaving Citadel Security to pursue Saren, Garrus? It's been like five minutes. Fighting a rogue specter with countless lives at stake and no regulations to get in the way? I'd say that beats CSEC. I'm pleased that the imminent destruction of all organic life has improved your career opportunities. It really has been like five minutes that he's been on this mission. It's hard to have regrets. We haven't even left yet. He could really just probably go back to his job. I guess he has a lot of time to think about it in the elevator. Alright, let's go down here because we can talk to the Spectre dude. Well, he's not a Spectre, he's just a guy who sells stuff, but he can sell us some equipment. I think it's all way too expensive right now. Commander Shepard, here with the Alliance Military. First time on the Citadel, that about right? How do you know who I am? I'm the CSEC Requisitions Officer. I need to make sure our buyers are authorized. So, will you be purchasing anything today, Commander Shepard? See what he's Show got. Show me what you got. Sounds good. Just let me set you up. Well, oh, this must be a mistake. System's telling me to offer you our select stock. Spectre? Well, I heard about that, but I didn't realize it was you. Sorry, Commander. Just show me what you've got. 
I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Enjoy. All right, let's see what there is here. How much money do we have? Where does it say? Oh my God, three hundred and thirteen six hundred for that. Where does it tell me? Oh, I only have three thousand less than three thousand. That is pretty crappy. Well, you can sell some of this stuff. Not that it's gonna get me much of anything. Not that it's gonna get me like anything. We probably don't need two of those. Shield battery is good. The radioactive rounds I probably want to keep. I don't want to keep that, I don't think. Well, I have to make sure though. Well, that sucks. It's like way too much money. We'll be back, dude. <laughs>